Good morning, River of Life. It's super exciting to be here this morning and be able to share a devotional with you guys. I really hope that we can uh, we can all just learn from what God has to share with us today. So we're going to be looking at the topic of humility today, and I'm super excited for this uh, because I think it can be a common misconception, and um, humans can often take things to the extreme to try to fix them, but we often kind of ruin it by trying to fix stuff. So let's take a look at Philippians 2 and let's read this together. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who, being in ver the very nature of God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on the cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. And that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And we also have a quote by C.S. Lewis saying, Humility is not thinking of less, thinking less of yourself. It is thinking of yourself less. And that's the common misconception that I want to talk about. We often, we know pride is a big part of, of our lives. And we know pride, it can be oftentimes the source of most of our sins. It can be the biggest deal that we have to take care of in our lives. And we always, as humans, you know, take stuff to the extreme. We do that so, so much to try to fix problems, but it never really fixes them. Um, there's a happy medium within those super far extremes. And what C.S. Lewis is trying to say, it's not thinking less of yourself, where we don't have to degrade ourselves. We, That's not the idea of of what humility is. And I was leading uh, worship a couple weeks ago for a youth group, and I, I was leading the song Nothing Else by Cody Carnes, and I just found myself um, dwelling with the thought of how much weight we have to, we think we have to carry, um, and really what the presence of God does for us. And so I really just want to take um, like 30 seconds to listen to the chorus with you guys and just go through that and and let's let's respond to that together I'm caught up in your presence I just want to sit here at your feet I'm caught up in this holy moment I never want It's such just a beautiful message. Um, the biggest thing I think uh, when I when I hear that song, just the thought that God placed on my mind when I was leading worship a couple weeks ago, was was how much pride not only you know it ruins the people, it ruins our relationships with the people around us, but it also it just makes us carry the weight of the world. We think. Our relationship with God depends so much on what what we can accomplish in our life, you know, trying to make God proud of us and do all these things. And 
all this stuff is, you know, you carry everything in your life. Um, and when, when we just envelop ourselves to that attitude of being so caught up in his presence that we want nothing but just a relationship with Jesus. We want nothing but just to, just to be with him. We want nothing more than to be in his presence and just to sit and, and dwell in that space. It's such a beautiful thought to, that we don't have to carry the weight of the world. And really we're, we're only hurting ourselves when we don't have the humility to be able to let go of that and realize that God has us. He's there for us. Humility is not about, you know, degrading yourself. It's not about thinking less of yourself. It's, it's really thinking on Jesus and through that, that he gives us, he gives us the ability to, to care and love for others. He gives us that passion when, when he helps us renew our minds and give us new mindsets to, to realize the world doesn't revolve around us. And to realize that without him, we wouldn't be able to achieve anything of importance or matter because the only thing that matters and the only thing we're promised is our relationship with him. So it was really enjoyable to being here to this morning and I'm so excited uh, for you guys to hear this message and I hope that uh, God is able to work through you in this message. Have a great day, guys.